everyone, this is Dawn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the new Inspiration Collaboration Design Team Mystery Envelope. This month, Katie sent out the mystery envelopes to all the design team members. We got all, all got the same thing and um, her rules for her challenge are to make something in the new Stampin' Up! 2024 to 25 catalog using these old products and anything in my stash. So if it's an embossed card, I can use Stampin' Up! or Close to My Heart. Uh, just try to make my own version. So I have chosen these cards in uh, on page 69 of the catalog, and I'm going to use the Spotlight on Nature dies along with a stamp set from Close to My Heart that is called Flower Friends, along with an older die set called Layered Leaves. And then I'm also going to work in a new embossing folder from Stampin' Up. This is the Eyelet Embossing Folder. Okay, so I've got these older um, in-color papers and I've pulled a few uh, ink pads from close to my heart. I have the Limeade and Bluebird and Candy Apple, along with some other retired colors and I'm going to see what works and what uh, matches these older colors. Okay, so I'm going to start out by uh, cutting a piece of white daisy to do some stamping. I'm going to get all my stamping done first and then I'll die cut everything and just have a whole bunch of flowers to work with and um, probably some leftovers. So I'm going to start out by stamping this uh, solid flower in um, poppy. I thought that color might be close to that red pattern paper. So I've stamped it out here, holding it close to it. Nope, I need something with more pink to it. So I went back in my stash and I found this other color and it is called Tulip. So I'm going to stamp that out and see how that works. So I'll hold that up and that's much better. Okay, so we're going to use Tulip instead of any of the other reds I pulled. And I'm going to stamp out a whole bunch of these flowers. Now these flowers, um, they are layering. So you have the solid and I've got two sizes of the flower. And then there's a detail image. And then I also decided I wanted to do some second generation stamping. So you just stamp out first and then you kind of huff on your stamp and then stamp right away again. And so the, the leftover ink on your uh, stamp will give that lighter version of the color. So I liked that because it was um, kind of a pink color that came out and it, it went really well with that pattern paper. And then I'm taking the detail stamp and I'm stamping in black and adding all the details to this flower. And it's similar to the flowers that are stamped in the catalog because those are stamped in black and then they're colored in. But I like these stamps because coloring's all done for you with that solid stamp. So, okay, so we're good to go on flowers. Now I'm gonna bring in Limeade and stamp some of these uh, stems and leaves. And then there's a couple of coordinating stamp sets that you can do um, the flowers. And then there's some more detail uh, stamps to add details to the flowers, but I'm just going to do the, uh, the stems, leaves, and um, the flowers for these smaller ones. And there is a coordinating die to cut these out. And I'll check, this might actually be still available from close to my heart. So um, I'll put a link in the description below if it is by any chance. They're clearancing everything out. So there's not a whole lot left over there. So I will make a list of everything from Stampin' Up that you can get to make these two cards. Okay, so now off screen, I've die cut everything. And then I've also cut a couple of um, Limeade uh, leaves that are from that same stamp set and then also from the layered leaves. So we'll make our first card. And then I started thinking about this pattern paper and I thought Bluebird um, wasn't gonna work. So I went back in my stash and I found some, um, this is Periwinkle. And I thought that went with the lighter color on this uh, pattern on this paper. So I have die cut two of the circles that are from Spotlight on Nature, and I'm gonna stamp my sentiment, okay? So I have this thank you 
and it's all in one line and I want to stack it. So I'm going to do surgery on my stamp and that's okay. You can always line them back up on your stamp on your block and it stamps exactly the same as it was meant to, but I want my thank you to be stacked. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp out the word thank and this is a new stamp so I needed that's why I was rubbing it on my wrist there. Um, if you rub it it removes the um, coating that's left from when they press the stamps um, from in production and you only have to do this once or twice but it gives a, a clearer stamp and it keeps the ink from beating up on your uh, stamp. So um, if you ever not get a clear impression make sure that you've seasoned your stamps first. Okay, so now I'm looking at the design and the base is green. And so I'm deciding if I wanna use the plaid or if I want to use the solid. And then uh, for that little banner, I'm gonna use that red paper. So I've decided on the plaid. So I'm gonna cut that at uh, four and a quarter by five and a half for an A2 card. And then I'm cutting off, um, I think it was about an inch and I'm gonna cut this down further of the red so that I can make that banner. And it's kind of a wonky banner, so I'm, I'm going to try to replicate this. Um, I cut the length at about two and a half, two and three quarters inches, and then it, uh, it started out narrow on the left end, and then it widens out. So I'm going to kind of try to cut this so that it's similar to that. And I'm not using any real dimensions. I just kind of put it in my trimmer and... and just went for it. And then I'll go ahead and dovetail the end and it's a shallow dovetail. And then I'm gonna bring in some white daisy and run this through my embossing folder with the uh, eyelet embossing folder. And oh my gosh, this is a 3D embossing folder and it, the impression is amazing. I'll have some close up shots um, after I finish putting this card together and you can just see the detail of that eyelet uh, embossing. It's it's really nice. So I highly recommend this embossing folder. I'm going to try to work it into more projects because it's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up just like um, the card is in the uh, photo in the catalog. And I'm just going to sprinkle a bunch of these flowers all around. And I do kind of fuss with them a bit and uh, decide the placement and um, also the colors. I want some of the lighter uh, tulip color and some of the more intense. And then I'm going to add some of these little flowers and leaves around. So I'll just kind of work them around and keep moving them till I like what I see. So we're getting there and I'll fuss with it a bit more. And then off camera, I'll go ahead and adhere everything down. So the thank you sentiment, I'm going to pop with foam tape and a couple of the flowers, the large flowers as well. And I'll add in some of these solid leaves. And then I'm going to bring in this gold thread. And uh, Close My Heart had some. It was thicker. I think it had, you know, like it was four ply. Um, so it was a little bit thicker, and I think it had some uh, wire uh I don't know, sort of sort of a wire feel to it. So it was a little bit different, but this is, um, it's basically gold thread. So I'm just gonna use a little bit more than I usually would use with the Close My Heart branded thread. And I'm, I just wrapped it around my fingers and then added some glue dots and push it in to that uh, foam tape that's under the sentiment. And then this is a little uh, ladybug and it's an embellishment from Stampin' Up! from a couple years ago, so I'm going to add that as well. Okay, and then I thought my flowers needed a little extra something. Of course, I have to add some sparkle and bling, so I'm, I brought in my clear shimmer brush, and I'm just going to paint in the center of the flowers just to give a little extra shimmer to those flowers. Okay, so I have close-up shots here, so you can see that that uh, shimmer brush, and I believe uh, Stampin' Up! has a uh, Wink of Stella also in clear, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. And 
again, that embossing folder is amazing. So, okay, move on to the next one. I'm going to use the um, inspiration for my next card is this, uh, it's a box actually in the picture um, and it's up on the right side in the catalog, but I'm going to make a card. Okay. So my base is going to be this blue and I'm cutting that at four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm going to cut my circle. So I need a circle frame. So I'm going to bring in these spotlight on nature circles and I'll need two of them. One is going to cut uh, the inside of the frame so that it's it's open because the actual die cuts a solid circle like you see in my left hand there. So by layering them and running them through, you get a frame. Okay. And then I want a different color to be inside the frame. So I'm going to run that same large die through on periwinkle. Okay. So then I can stack it underneath the first one and it'll be a different color inside the circle. Okay, so now I'm choosing my color uh, for my sentiment. So I've stamped Limeade, I've stamped Bluebird, and now I'm gonna bring in Tulip. And ultimately I decided I liked the Tulip the best. So my sentiment says, sending you sunshine. Okay, so I have cut that out and uh, dovetailed each end to create a banner. And I just cut that out by hand and, uh, and used my trimmer as well. And then we can start assembling. So just going to use some tape runner and start stacking everything. I'll put the circle down and then I'll just use some glue to glue that circle frame. And we'll get that down. And then we can start bringing in our die cut flowers and leaves. So again, I'll fuss with this quite a bit and decide on the placement of all of these flowers and leaves. And I'm uh, trying to get a good mix of the intense tulip and the second generation tulip and also with the big ones and little ones and so on. So I decided to bring in more of these layered leaves and still fussing. And then I decided I wanted fewer of the layered leaves, but I still wanted some to poke out on the right side. So I'm going to do some surgery to that die cut. And then we can work in some of the smaller leaves in that uh, open space below. And just keep piling them in. I think I like that. Okay, so we've got everything glued down and I have popped the sentiment and a couple of the larger flowers with foam tape. And then I'm going to bring in these dots that Katie sent. They're uh, a matte blue and they come in like a medium size and then a really small size. And I'm going to scatter a whole bunch of those around. They're pretty cool. I like the matte effect of them. So we'll scatter a bunch of those around. And then I still felt like it needed a little something. But instead of using the uh, gold or silver thread that Katie sent, I decided to bring in some of this linen thread. And this is currently available from Stampin' Up. And I just did a little bow and added it right below my sentiment with a glue dot. And I think I like that. So here's some close-up shots in a second. Oh, first I need to add some shimmer to the middle of my flowers, of course. So I'm, I'm just... Um, squeezing a bit more out onto the block there so that I could really get my brush saturated to add some shimmer there. And here's some close-up shots. So again, I'll make a list of all the supplies that I use with links in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. And I will also leave a playlist at the end of this video and in the description of my video so you can find the other videos made by the Inspiration Collaboration Design Team. And I'm curious to see what everyone made with all these supplies that Katie sent us. So please check that out. And thanks for watching.